some help. Blitz, Jones in trouble, just throws it up for Tony. And catch is made. What a grab by Kadarius Tony on the sideline. To try to give help to the left side of that offensive line, and they're still able to get through. You see what Daniel Jones is contending with back in the pocket. Yeah, he's just throwing it up out of desperation as much as anything else. But Tony, he goes up and makes a play. That's a great job by him. To the target when the ball's thrown in his direction. This looks like a double pass. And it is to Booker, who dropped the football, and they're going to say incomplete. Down an eight here. Quick set up and throw. Pass is caught by Tony. Keanu Neal is there for Dallas. Nice. Decent protection underneath. Pass is caught for the first down by Kadarius Tony. They disguise, so now the, the safety drops out. So now he's given help to the outside. And Daniel Jones recognizes that he's able to buy some time and gets the underneath crosser. Blitz coming from the Cowboys. Pass is caught. First down plus. Tony is down to the two. Kadarius Tony with a catch and run of 28. This guy is so electric once he gets the ball in his hands. It looks like he's going to be tackled right there, but you see the move that he makes. I mean, he's anticipating his move before he even catches the football. He's able to avoid the tackle. Got two guys right in front of him. Last week on Sunday, it was like third and 18, and they give him the ball quickly into his hands. He weaved his way for the first. Good stuff. Everybody should be ready to play, and we are. Lennon keeps great protection, throws, and has Tony. Kadarius Tony down the sideline in a big play to start the second half. Such a great ride route by Kadarius Tony against Diggs. Diggs is anticipating he's going to keep running on the deep crosser. Instead, because of the protection in the pocket, Glennon's able to sit back there and allow Tony to do his thing. Here he is on the near side. Wrestled out by the 35. Curse on the stop, a gain of five. Glennon throws, and it's the rookie with a great grab on the sideline. Kadarius Tony. It's by Jordan Lewis overall right there in the slot. And you get the pressed outside looks, and then you have all that field to work with, and you lay it out there. But pretty good coverage by Lewis. It's just the rookie, Tony, going up and being able to make a play on the ball. Encroachment. Defense, number 91. Five-yard penalty. First down. Oh. He just came up and hit a teammate. Watch the left foot. Right there as the body of Jordan Lewis of Tony who's looked tremendous 147 yards of offense by the rookie whose clock has been sped up because of the injuries to the other receivers play action Glennon gets hit and there's Tony makes the catch Plows ahead with another first down as Van Der Esch forces him and he's stopped at the two. Yeah, that's kind of what he did. You know, and talking with Joe Judge the other day because they had a pass call for him last week on a reverse. And it does allow a guy like Zeke Elliott to take a little bit of a breather. It's a great one-two punch. Here's Tony who's had a phenomenal game. Adds to it. Boy, they have a real weapon in Kadarius Tony. This kid's good. He's really good and the shame for the Giants is that these guys weren't able to work together and I know that Joe Judge views the first four games of the season as an extension of the preseason. Galladay barely played so you're right. I mean they just haven't had a lot of work together and we're seeing all that Tony can do. The hard part is when you it's hard to keep your confidence. Here's another one for Tony. <laughs> Just toying with the defender, Lewis. 13 yards, and you can see what Dave Gettleman liked is KZ. Uh oh, here we go. That was a full on punch by Tony. He got shoved, but then came back with a punch.
they're still going. Everything happened after it when Tony got shoved and then took a swing. I mean, the moves are incredible. He's had a phenomenal game, and then this. Yeah, he did it with a closed hand, too. That's, that's a good way to break your hand. I was going to say, Joe Judge, I, I think there's a lot for Joe Judge to be proud of, the way that they've competed in light of all of the injuries that they've had. But this part of it, this will be the most upsetting thing to Joe Judge. Ingram was sticking up for Tony, who was shoved, in fairness, prior to the punch. And, you know, there it is. Personal foul, 89. Personal foul, 18. Number 89 is disqualified for throwing a punch. Those two fouls will be offset. First down. Yeah, there's the, the punch by Tony, but I just from what my recollection of watching that unfold, he did get shoved after the play, and that's why Tony came back and did that. There's no excuse for it. Right. He's ejected from the game, but yeah. it was not unprovoked. Yes. He'll Almost start, impossible yeah. to overcome. Yeah, he'll start. Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, there's. Curse threw him down, and then Tony got up and did that. Yeah, he'll start worrying about it as soon as they get on that plane to fly back to New York and try to figure out.